The AFC North preview. 2018 NFL. Let's do the rundown, all right? The Steelers Go. won the division last year. Baltimore Ravens came in second. The Bengals were third in the division. And the Browns. Second 0-16 season Ooh. in the history of the NFL. Boy, that was a rough one. That was tough. But, hey, there's a lot of hope there. Deshaun Kaiser, I, I would I would pay people to beat you up if I had that kind of Well, thing. I mean, I got rid of him. That guy's garbage. He's second string for the Packers now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so look, let's, go. let's let's roll with the Steelers. Let's start off with Pittsburgh. Steel they've been, curtain. They've been, they've been the bully of the division for a long time. Went thirteen and three last year. Their over under is ten and a half. They are minus three seventy five to win the division. The three B's are back. They're all healthy right now. Everything sounds good. They're not all healthy. Who's ben Roth- not healthy. Ben Roethlisberger has a concussion. Man, they came out and said that. What? Like, ben Roethlisberger got a concussion from his own offensive lineman. That big melon this is, that he is. This is you hating right now. It's not this hate. Is. This is hate. I'm 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 this just is, reporting a concussion, Gary. It's a, it, that they said wasn't a concussion. You can <laughs> You hear this guy? All of a sudden he's a doctor. All right. Uh look, they had a they got a great offense. Defense finished fifth in the league. They won't finish fifth this year. Uh team had fifty six sacks. Cam Hayward had twelve of those himself. They added uh safety Morgan Burnett, linebacker uh Oh, John Bostick. I was looking for a note. Yep. Um, I mean, they just they keep on rolling. The most exciting guy they uh, added was Washington. I thought uh, the draft pick Edmonds, like, I, I don't think he's ready yet, but, like, they're pretty stacked right now. They don't need, you know, whatever. They're, like, we'll they're, they're getting ready to let AB a, 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 go. They, they that's gotta, what they, But that's what they do. They have a star receiver. He's unbelievable, and then they just draft another one. When he becomes a yeah. free agent, they let him move on, and that's they don't pay him. They just draft him, develop him, and they pump out receivers like and they're, nobody's and business. And they're good at it. They're really good at it. That's, they've it, it, they've been no doing need it to pay my them. entire life. Yeah, it's, They've been pumping out the best receivers in football. It's pretty ridiculous. Now, they did lose, well, lose or they, got rid of Todd out. Haley. Oh, um, no, I thought you were talking about Bryant. No, no, no. They uh, they got rid of uh, Todd Haley. They did like Todd Haley. Um, and then hired their quarterback coach, Randy Feedner. Ben's friend. Yeah. Yeah, Ben and Todd didn't like each other. Yeah, it's a little, Ben's, a little crazy. Ben's a little soft. Randy Feedner used to be Memphis offensive coordinator back when uh, Tommy West was here. God, uh, Tommy West. Yeah, that's been a little Ooh. while ago. Okay. Uh, he was, remember, he was the first one that got Memphis turned around. What uh, What's their over-under? Over-under is 10 and a half. Yeah. They didn't win 10 last year, did they? They won, yeah, they they won, won 10. They won 13. They won 13. They went 13 and 3 last year. What are you talking about? Okay. That's the second best team in football last year. Okay. You're right. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I just forgot. I, I'm not trying to be a jackass. I just forgot. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. They uh they were second in the AFC. I just uh, remember they got beat by the Jags twice at home. Tell me this. Uh, New England has to go to Pittsburgh again. Correct. Two straight years. Yeah. What is that about? It's just the scheduling. I, and I'm not going to call any kind of weirdness on it. When Peyton was around and they were playing Tom and, and, and uh, Peyton back and forth all the time, uh, New England, like, somehow got uh, the Broncos in New England, like, three years straight. It just – they got to make the schedule. They're only going to give you eight home games. They're going to make it work That's out weird. the way it works out. Um, the division games are where they are, so they they just kind of figure it out uh, from there. Um, I, I'm not I'm not crying any shenanigans. I think it, it's tough. It's tough going into Pittsburgh is not easy. Heinz no. Field is not an easy when, place and, to play. And last year that game was the one that, that one gave the Patriots the uh, not the division the uh, the conference like yep. the number one seed. Correct. And it was the catch rule yep. fiasco all over again. Yep. Like I remember you and I just absolutely throwing down over this That's thing. Fine. Um, but I mean, it's back in Pittsburgh again, yep. late That's in the okay. season, Sunday, December 16th, week before, uh, week before Christmas, not too shabby. No, it'll be a good game. It'll be an NBC game unless Ben's not there. So it is. No, it's a CBS game. They already got scheduled out. Uh, it, it flex game. No, I'm with you. I'm sorry. NBC is going to pick that up. Yeah, you're probably right. If, if, if they're both healthy and they're both in contention, 
NBC is going to say, I'm going to take that one right there. Yep, give me that, John. Give me that Give one. me that, John. I got them 13-3. and three. I got them winning the division again. We're pretty far off. I, and I'm, this, I promise you, this is not hate. <laughs> Listen, I know I hate the Steelers. Immediately with the- this. is not hate. This is not hate. I do not think I – think, I think two things. I think two things about this team that's going to completely change the way they always are. Okay. okay. I, think, I think – well, actually, I think three. I think, number one, I think the different – Say what you may about Todd Haley. Todd Haley is a professional NFL coach. Oh, yeah. No, I'm He is really you. good. That offense is going to go backwards because of him. Him not being there. I don't think now, it might not be that terrible. Much, it though. might not be terrible. No, no, no. You're right. Number two, I think Le'Veon Bell is on the last year of his deal. He has made it clear, and they've made it clear, we're not re-signing you. I think they are going to run him into the ground until he gets hurt. But I also think this is the year that he absolutely just gets hurt. So when he falls off, I think there is a drastic fall off at running back. In three, I do not see Ben Roethlisberger playing two years back-to-back 16 games. He is going – he just takes too many hits. And it's not a knock on him. He's big, he's strong, he's hard to take down. But that means guys are pulling on him at weird angles and eventually things just pull and break. And and it's it's not better when you get older – and now, I, you're the one that told me though that you can't like you gotta go based on not guys getting hurt because I talked about the Redskins defense how they were injury prone. You're like you can't look at that. Well, you can't do that. But you can't say a whole team. But a guy that's injury prone is like you can absolutely say Sam Bradford's not gonna play 16 games. No, I, you can. Okay. Ben Roethlisberger two years back to back. Aaron Rodgers two years back to back. Not gonna play. These guys just get hurt a lot. They make they're, they're fragile. They're, I don't know that it's fragile. See, I'm not even. I, I'm not even knocking them. But here's the deal: they're big, they're strong, they throw the ball a lot because their offenses are prolific. Their defenses get them off the field a lot, and and therefore they they're they're taking a lot of snaps. Their well, offensive both lines of them, are usually not really good. Well, both of them hold on to the football for no, freaking ben, ever. Ben, without question, holds on the ball longer than any quarterback I've ever seen in my life. Well, and, and Aaron Rodgers does too, but not as long as Ben does. But his release is so much faster than Ben's. Oh, yeah. Here, here's the deal. I got him going 8-8. Eight and eight. It's totally not hate. I think the back half of the season, I don't think Le'Veon Bell's going to be there a lot. I don't think Ben's going to be there a lot. I think you're going to start having L's just stack up. I mean, you do. Like, it is a tough back half of the schedule. I mean, they play – Look, you start off after the bye. You, you're, you're at, let's you're, go after the bye. Okay. You got you got Cleveland at home at Baltimore, which is always tough. You never beat Baltimore, ever. At, not on the road anyway. No. Uh, Carolina, yeah, Carolina's gonna be tough. At Jacksonville, at Denver, the Chargers, at Oakland, New England, at New Orleans, I, and then close I, with Cincinnati. I, I think the back half of this schedule is absolute murder's row. I think it is. I agree. I, I that's and it's and I promise because I've disliked them and I've talked so much trash about them, it, it makes it to where when I make a legit pick and a legit argument, it, it sounds it's, it foolish. doesn't help the Steelers that you are a Pats fan and, and, a, and Browns. a Browns fan. I get it. I like get it. you I you hate uh, you hate Pittsburgh but, but from that, every no, corner. But that's not true. That is absolutely not true. The team that I hate most of all is Baltimore. Pittsburgh's okay, not even yeah. second. The Cowboys would probably be second. <laughs> How you like that? Who's, so is Pittsburgh third? Yeah, they're absolutely Who's third. The, we, we need to do a ranking of we like do, teams we that we hate the most. We can absolutely do a ranking on teams I hate the most. So so right now we've got Baltimore, the Cowboys. I have the said Cowboys. things about the city of Baltimore that would make it to where I could never run for political office <laughs> if anybody found out that I said them. They're harsh, they're mean, I'm immature sometimes, and I believe them. Um, okay, so. okay. All right, we, we've been talking forever already, and we're just not through the Steelers. So let's. But the Steelers are good. Right, They're so fun to talk eight about. Eight and eight. It's strictly because I think Ben's the schedule gonna, is tough. If and, Landry and Jones is quarterback in the back half of that schedule, they win any of those games. Man, you think Landry Jones is going to be? Man, Josh Dobbs is the answer. <laughs> like, I can't even say well, that hang on, with a who's straight Who's the guy face. They, they, they drafted the kid from, uh, from what's his name, from Oklahoma State? Uh, Mason Rudolph. Rudolph. Dobbs might get cut. They're not going to carry Man, They need to cut Landry Jones. Gonna, I've hated oh, Landry no, he Jones He is a for professional years. quarterback. Man. He is a losing quarterback. Anyway, let's Baltimore go Ravens. Baltimore. Last year went 9-7. and seven. They're over under is 8. They are plus 380 to win the division. So, 8 wins. They're always hovering around that, right? They are the thorn in Pittsburgh's side. Yeah, they really are. They really and are. They, well, they, they just always... And it's not just Pittsburgh. Like, they're just... They're a tough-nosed team. Like, no, a hard-nosed yeah, team. No, like, they're... they're 
one of the toughest teams you're ever going to They drafted uh, Lamar Jackson and uh, tight end Hayden Hurst in the first round. Both of them in the first round. There are 31 teams that he could have went to. If he goes to Pittsburgh, I'm like, I'm all right. Like, I like this kid a lot. You know I was in the tank for him. Oh, no. One out of 32 he can't go to. Yeah, and you you don't like Baltimore. And that's – secondary could be great. The rest of the defense could be a problem this year. Like, they like C.J. Mosley's good. Old. But they're they're all getting old. It's, old. They finished twelfth in total defense last year. They were sixteenth in rushing defense. That's a problem for them. They've always really been top ten in stopping the run. But they're getting older. Uh, offense finished twenty seventh in total offense, 29th in passing offense, eleventh in rushing offense, and I couldn't name you one of their running backs. Alex Collins, Buck, something. They got to do name. That's, Buck. I like Alex Collins. It, it, before I. I, I completely forgot that he was playing for him. Yeah. He, he started playing late in Buck the year. Allen. Buck, Buck Allen. Allen. There we go. They uh, they added wide receiver Michael Crabtree, uh, John Brown, and Willie Sneed. So that helps out Flacco a little bit. That's good. Uh, or it might help out Lamar Jackson or RG3. Who knows? It won't help out RG3. Either way, uh, I've got them at 7-9. and nine. We see them very similar. I got them 7-9 and nine also. They're going to hover around 8-8. Eight and eight. I would never put them 10-6. and six. I would never put them 6-10. and 10. Jim Harbaugh, John Harbaugh, sorry, is a really good coach. And yes. As much as I dislike Baltimore, well, he's, and it's, he's it's, a really good coach. And I'm going to tell you this. Is Joe Flacco elite? Nope. Let's talk <laughs> oh, dog. I'm about to. I think if Jim, John Harbaugh, God, I'm never going to get this right. If John Harbaugh. Just say Harbaugh. Is, is actually doing the right thing for the team before this season is over with, he is going to have a conversation with Joe Flacco that goes something like this. You you might want to pull something, or have some type of quote unquote injury, surgery, an injury, clean up the shoulder, clean up the knee, because I'm about to sit you down, and I really don't want to embarrass you by benching you for a rookie. And I absolutely think that if Lamar can I get Jackson, in trouble for that? Well, no, no, not okay. at all. So you you can you can lie about injuries, well, yeah. So long as Bill Belichick like, has you're actually put sitting them all. 53 players on the injury report every week after week one for the last decade. Everybody, nobody's 100% after week one. No, it's just, you can't hide an injury, but you can definitely, like, say somebody's hurt. Okay. But here's the deal. Save him some face because he's, if they're really trying to win games. Or trying to build for the future. Not If they're trying to win games. If they're trying to win games, they're going to put Lamar Jackson in. This year? Yeah. Right now. This year. That he will happen before so the end of the season. The... It's early, man. It's early. He's not playing with the ones. That kid is going to be better than Joe Flacco. Okay. Okay. Now, I've been wrong before. I don't, I don't know if I agree with you. I, I mean, look, you know my stance on, on Jackson. When he played against good defenses, he went colorblind. He started throwing the wrong team. Yeah, his he just, offensive it, line was he, great. He was, so. he was one, or, or if you're lucky, you might get two reads out of him. You might get two progressions. But that's because he, he would, had no he would time. T- he would drop it down and throw it. You just talked in one of the other previews about Louisville having a good offensive line. I said they're, like, experience. they're not garbage, but, but when you played against good defenses, he's got no time. He's got no time, exactly. And I, I don't know what his offensive line is like in the Ravens. But in the NFL, it's different. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Uh, the Bengals. Let's move on to Cincinnati. Cincinnati. So, wait, so we both had them at 7-9, right? Yes, the Ravens. we both the same thing. All right. Uh, Marvin you, Lewis. Got the, you got the Steelers at 8-8. Eight eight. M- Marvin Lewis has been coaching this team – for a long time, I saw a stat the other day that was kind of crazy. I can't think about it right now, but it—I mean, it was—it's kind of ridiculous. What is it like 13, 14 years, something like that? He's been he's crazy been coaching for a long time. I mean, it's a, a real long time. I didn't Never even look at the number. Game. Never won a playoff game. He's been to the playoffs what five times? Yeah, a lot. A lot of what? It, is five a lot for how long he's been there? Well, I think the recent though. I mean, not recent as in like last year, but I yeah, mean, like they didn't go last year, but yeah. five would probably out of less seven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they went seven and nine last year. They're over under this year is seven. And they are plus seven fifty to win the division. They added uh, Cordy Glenn and drafted Billy Price to help the offensive line open holes for Joe Mixon and block for Andy Dalton. So that's a good thing. AJ Green always going to be a playmaker. That's it. Doesn't matter who's throwing to him. Like it, he could make any quarterback better. Correct. Um, why did this team keep Marvin Lewis as a coach? That's, no, that's a. I will tell you. Nobody knows. Like Vontez Burfecht has a four game suspension to start the season. They lost Pac Man Jones. The Has secondary he ever is probably played sixteen games and not because of injuries. I don't think so. Is there a scarier player in the NFL? 
No, I think that Vontez Burfick would actually kill somebody on the field. Yeah. Like, I think like, like if, Aaron if, Hernandez was like a gangbanger off the field, like Burfick Burfick could kill you. I think Burfick would kill somebody like on the field in front of seventy thousand people. I really think that. Yeah. Like no, he's he, he's a frightening person. That guy is a scary man. And he and he's got no self control whatsoever. Like, it, he, he gets himself in trouble well, all the just, time. Gary, you can't. The number oh. one thing you need to be good at violence is being crazy. Well, it's, it's, so his four-game suspension is uh, performance-enhancing drugs. He's without, without question, he's crazy. And that dude did not need performance-enhancing drugs. <laughs> that dude is Burf, ripped and can, scary and everything. Can you think of perfect with, like, a roid rage? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. That's terrifying. Um Terrorized city. Their uh, their schedule is tough. They got to yeah. play the NFC South this year. That's not good for them. Um, I, I mean, think the only offensive game, line is going to be better. I, I think it should be better. They're going to be better. I don't know that they can stop anybody. I, man, I got them at five and eleven. So we're really close, like six and ten. I, yeah, I mean, one or the other. Like it, I've got them losing at Indianapolis over to start the season. Seven? I think they could probably win that. Over under was seven. I got them. Yeah, under. I don't. I don't have them that. We're under. I just we're close. Uh, looking looking at this schedule. Yeah. I just I can't. I don't know. I can't. I can't find the wins. I don't know. Uh, let's move on to the Browns. We'll close out. This is where things get interesting. Close this thing out with the Browns. I knew you were going to go crazy this with this. Things get interesting. 2017, they went 0-16. They did. 2016, they went 1-15. Yeah, your boy Hugh is 1-31 in two seasons. How long can you keep that going and still keep a job? Uh, Over-under is 5.5. To win the division, they are plus 900. Um, they just revamped the entire offense. The whole thing, everything. Dang. They traded for Terod Taylor. Did I say that right? You did. Terod Taylor. That's how his mama says. Uh, they drafted Baker Mayfield number one. So eventually, Baker is going to play. Not this year. They're grooming him. I, I think. Yeah, you may be right. So, but if Terod has a couple of bad games or whatever, offense doesn't get going. Fans are gonna be shouting for Baker. I'll tell you that. Let's keep going. Uh, Josh Gordon, Jarvis Landry, Antonio Callaway at wide receiver, Carlos Hyde, Nick Chubb at running back. They got to find somebody to replace Joe Thomas. They move. Uh, they move the best guard in football to left tackle. He will be above average. Yeah, Joe I, Joe Bonino. Yeah, but they. I, um, I, I should be able to pronounce a good Italian name. So yeah. can the question is: Can Austin Corbett, who was their first round pick from Nevada, can he uh, fill a hole on on that offensive line? Um, and I think so. Yeah. I think he's. I, he's I think really they good. will be above average. They won't be the best offensive line in football. They won't be in the bottom ten or fifteen. They'll they'll be above average. Defense has got talent. Man, Miles they, Garrett, Jabril Peppers, Denzel Ward. They drafted number four from Ohio State cornerback uh, Jannard Avery, linebacker out of Memphis. Keep keep they, that name in your mouth. Their their linebacking core has has been talked about by other people that grade this stuff. That they're one of the best. Now, when you say linebacker room, you're talking about like five six deep. Five six deep. Now they're not one or two better than anybody. Yeah. But five, six deep, they're one of the best linebacking cores in football. Prob- probably top five. Yeah. Probably top five. They're, they're, they're really good. And they're. It, it's so strange to say talent-wise, they went from being a team that had no talent anywhere. They really don't have a lot of holes. No. I mean, I know it's kind of crazy to say a team that just no, – they, they won 1-31 in 31 and they don't have any holes. But that's what you can what, do. What's the GM's name? Um, Dorsey. John Dorsey. John Dorsey. He knows what he's doing. No, that's a football man. Yeah, he he and built John, this roster John, from the ground yes, up. What he, we had a lot of money to spend, and, and he, he spent, spent it. it, and he yeah. spent it on places where he liked it, and we had a ton of draft capital. And I, the rookies he took, I think, are going to be good. I agree. I agree. I think it may take a little while. Um, I mean, you still got to build chemistry. You still got to figure all this stuff out. Like you got new coaches. You got Todd Haley as the new offensive coordinator. I love um, Todd Haley. I mean, it's. I, I, I kind of like, wish Todd Haley was sitting in the big chair. And Huey, really? And Huey was sitting in the little chair. Todd Haley's got more wins than Huey as a head coach. Uh, that's it. You're right about that. He's. I think he's a better coach. Um, I've got the Browns at seven and nine, and I think they beat Pittsburgh. We won. That's unbelievable to go from zero and sixteen to seven and nine. And you're you're gonna blow that out I of the think, water. No, hang on. You're gonna be but like I, eleven but, and but five. I, but I actually think you're exactly right. In week week one, week one, they're gonna blow Pittsburgh out. I don't know about blowing no, out. No, they're double digit win. Double I don't know digit about win. Double digit. They are going That's to crazy. come in. Last year, last year, I know they. It was what twenty one to they, twenty they, or twenty one to if whatever. They, if they don't turn the ball over three times in the red zone in the fourth quarter, 
they blow them out. They just kick field goals that beat them by 12 last year. Yeah. But instead, all three of those turnovers turned into touchdowns. Yeah. Thanks to Kaiser Soso. That's I a, love that nickname. Is so. I, lo- I stole that from Mike Lombardi. I'm not taking credit for that. Um, I, I think my Cleveland Browns are a really good head coach away from being great. I mean, outstanding great. I watched this team this past week here in Memphis was Elvis week. I watched this team. My jaws tingle. I just get so excited. I get all shook up and it makes me <laughs> get so pumped up. We had, we had Muhammad Massaqua on and he said he thought they were going to go nine and seven. I've listened to him do other shows after that. That is not a him pumping them up because I'm a Cleveland guy. He is standing behind the nine and seven as much as I love him and as much as I'm so grateful for him coming on our show, I cannot have somebody coming on this show and picking them better than I'm going to pick them. And I think back and I'm going to, I want to channel my inner Billy Bob from varsity blues, Ms. Davis, 10, 10. I got them going 10 and six. My Cleveland Browns are going 10 and 6. From They're going to win this division. To They're going to go from worst to first. Every year there is a team that goes worst to first in the NFL. Yeah, but how many teams this, go from zero wins to 10? There's only been two that's ever done that, that that's ever gone zero wins. So we're going to find out. This will be the first one that's ever done that. Whew. I believe in every level of this team, I think we are above average. I think Tyrod Taylor is going to be a top five quarterback in the NFL. I think offensively they're going to average 30 points a game. I think they are going to blow people away with how much better they are than they were last year. And week one, week one, they're going to they're gonna come out. Now I'm going to now I'm gonna channel my inner uh, Steve Austin. And, and Todd Haley is going to take that football. He's going to shine it up real nice. He's going to walk up to Ben Roethlisberger. He's going to shove it straight up his ass. I'm telling you, it is going to be a beatdown of epic proportion. If anybody in the NFL that started a football game last year, this includes Brett Hundley, was the quarterback of the Cleveland Browns week one, they beat the Steelers week one of last year. Anybody not named Kaiser Soso. Deshaun Kaiser, the most worthless piece of garbage that's ever taken a snap in the NFL. Anybody else, we win week one. This year, we are so much better. I think the the Steelers are old. If we can control Antonio Brown, they can win that game. Le'Veon Bell is not going to take a single snap before that game. Not in practice, not in training camp, not in nothing. He's going to moonwalk in, and he is going to be slow week one. That is our best shot to take them out. And you go to my home. We're winning that game. The Cleveland fans are going to go I nuts. I agree with you. They're going to build a statue to Tyrod. We're going to end up with the same it's, Brett it's Favre, Tyrod. Aaron Rodgers problem where, Baker, <laughs> we love you, but this guy just won 10 games, and he's going nowhere. Sign him to an extension, and let's roll. How crazy would that be? I have I said that. dumber things on this show than that. Yeah, you probably have. And I believe this one more than I believe all the rest of those. <laughs> I need this in my life so bad. <laughs> I really do get excited. And this is not like uh, Hard Knocks hype. I watch that show, and I just, like, my heart warms. And I'm, I'm really critical of Hugh Jackson. I'm really critical. I don't think he's a great coach, and I I think he's too easy on these guys, and I don't believe in the NFL you can't be a player's coach and be a good coach. You just can't. I'll tell you this. If they only win like five games this year, I think Jackson's gone. And they might move Todd Haley up. Let me. We'll see. So my favorite thing that's happened in this offseason, my favorite thing has been uh, there has been a workout between – and then we'll get out of here because we're going a little long. There has been a workout between – Baker and Jarvis and Odell Beckham. Those three guys got together in the offseason and worked out. Baker, not Baker, Odell got an extension offer from the Giants, $18 million a year. Jarvis goes on Twitter, says, don't sign that deal. Don't sign that deal. We have more money than they do. Become a free agent and just listen to our offer. If nothing else, they got to pay you more to counter our number. So if even if nothing else, you're going to let us get you more money. But I'm going to tell you this. Next year, Cleveland might be the place to be. If this team signed Odell Beckham, I will be 
very difficult to be around. You already difficult right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap it up. <laughs>